Hi, I'm Mike Kraft. Vanities have come a long way over the years. Now they come in a variety of fashions from traditional to contemporary. The same can be said for vanity sinks as well. And best of all, with Lowe's, updating your current vanity and sink is an easy project. Replacing your bathroom vanity and the vanity sink can give a bathroom a totally different feel. And Lowe's has a huge selection of beautiful and easy to care for vanity tops and vanities in a variety of materials, colors, and finishes. But no matter what the style, more than likely you'll be able to do it yourself. You want to start off by making sure you've got all the materials and tools you'll need to get the job done right. First of all, you'll need a new vanity and a vanity top. For tearing out the old sink and vanity, you'll need a large adjustable pair of pliers or a slip nut wrench, a utility knife, a bucket to catch the water from the trap and the supply lines, a hammer and chisel, and some safety glasses. To install the cabinet, you're going to need a drill with a Phillips head bit, some 3 inch wood screws, a tape measure, a stud finder, a level, some wood shims, and a pencil. For the vanity top, you'll need some silicone sealant or a caulk with a gun, a new faucet and drain, some plumber's putty and tape, and a sponge or towel. Now, if you're ever in doubt about doing a home improvement project yourself, contact a licensed contractor and always follow the manufacturer's instructions as well as local building codes. Now, the first thing to do is measure the old vanity top sink. You want to make sure that the one you buy is the right size for the vanity. Also, measure the old vanity itself to make sure the new vanity will fit in the same area and take special note of the location of any wall trim or floor tile that might get in the way. Now, you can also buy a larger vanity, but you might have to cut some baseboards along the floor. All right, ready to start the tear out? Let's begin by removing the old sink. Turn off the water supply using the valves under the sink or use the main water valve. Then turn on the faucet to release any water pressure. Loosen the slip nut at the top of the P-trap. You may have to remove the trap. Then disconnect the water lines with an adjustable wrench and have a bucket ready to catch some water. Now we're going to separate the vanity top from the base. First thing you want to do is take a utility knife and cut the sealant along the backsplash and side of the vanity. We've already done that, so now we're going to take the top off the base. Now if you're planning on saving either the vanity or top, you might want to do this from inside the cabinet. We're not planning on keeping it, so we're going to take a hammer and chisel and just separate that top from the base. With the help of an assistant, remove the sink. Then remove the old vanity. Usually they're attached to the studs with screws. Remove the old base unit from the bathroom. Now you're ready to install the new vanity. Follow these steps to determine the new placement. First, mark the height of the vanity on the wall in three different locations. Then mark the width on the wall. Now you have a rough outline for the new vanity. Any wallpaper or old paint inside the outline will be covered by the new vanity, so repairs to this area may not be needed. If there are any marks or scratches on the wall outside the lines, now's the time to repair them. If you're unsure about repairing wall surfaces, watch Prepping Paint Surfaces at Lowe's.com videos for help. If the old one wasn't secured to the wall, use a stud finder to locate a wall stud inside your outlined area. Now our vanity has no back, but if yours does, measure the locations of the pipes from the wall marks. Then translate these measurements to the back of the new vanity so you can determine where the pipe holes need to be cut. Remove the doors. It's easier to work with the vanity this way, but it's not necessary for installation. Then slide the new unit into place. If it isn't level, place wood shims under it until it is level from front to back and side to side. Attach the new vanity to the wall studs with wood screws. Use the nailer across the vanity back for attachment. Recheck to see if the vanity is level and make any necessary adjustments. Use a utility knife to cut off the edges of the wood shims. Be careful not to scratch the vanity or the floor. Now before we install the vanity top to the base, we want to install the faucet and drain to the sink. And to help us do that is our plumbing expert, Jack Dever. Jack, what's the first thing we want to do to get started? Every sink is different, so follow the manufacturer's instructions. Apply plumber's putty into the putty groove on the underside of the putty plate. Most sinks have pre-cut holes for a universal fitting faucet. Place the putty plate and deck plate onto the pre-cut sink holes. Then insert the faucet into the hole. From underneath the sink, secure the faucet with the metal washer and long nut. Now for the sink drain. 
Apply a bead of plumber's putty on the underside of the threaded bowl flange. Push the flange down into the bowl opening, securing the flange into the putty. From the sink bottom, install the threaded flange. Screw the lock nut onto the flange, then wrap the threads with plumber's tape and screw the tailpiece on the threaded flange. The tailpiece has to be oriented so the pop-up lever is pointed straight towards the back. Install stopper, lift rod, and lever according to the manufacturer's instructions, verifying everything works properly. Next, attach the sink to the vanity. Apply a bead of silicone caulk to the vanity top and where the backsplash will attach. With the help of an assistant, place the assembled sink on the vanity top and press firmly in place. The tailpiece must slide back into the P-trap. Tighten the nut. Reattach the doors. Wipe away any excess caulk or plumber's putty with a wet sponge. Apply a bead of sealant along the edges of the backsplash where it meets the wall. Reconnect the water supply lines to the shutoff valves. Turn on the water and test for leaks. A new vanity and sink and a new look for the bathroom. If you want to learn how to replace your toilet or your medicine cabinet, watch the other bathroom how-to videos at lowes.com videos.